Diplomats and business leaders arrived Thursday in Hawaii for APEC 2011, an Asia-Pacific gathering of economies responsible for over 60 percent of global GDP. At the crossroads of a region with nearly half of the world's population in trade, delegates can take part in a Nissan LEAP drive and ride program as EV and zero emission technology finds greater traction across the globe. APEC governments and companies eyeing sustainable energy technology increasingly see LEAF as part of the solution. Two key issues for APEC delegates are energy policies and advancement of TPP trade negotiations, which include the automotive industry and green technologies. Therefore, it is very important for us in the energy security group to look at ways how to uh, use our uh, equipment and services in a more efficient way to generate our power in a more efficiently, to run our vehicles, to run our cars more efficiently using electric cars and other means to reduce, at the same time, reducing emission. I think quite clearly that uh, people are measuring their brands based on P, uh, consumers' preferences and, and preferences has moved towards eco-friendly products quite clearly and that's uh, that's affected people's views about whether they like or dislike a particular, a particular company, whether they'll buy their products. Environmental goods and services should get special treatment and by special treatment I simply mean that we should have an acceleration of the removal of barriers both tariff and non-tariff some 2.7 billion APEC consumers, as well as those in Hawaii, are seeing more Leafs on the road as the global rollout continues. Heads of state and CEOs are among 10,000 visitors expected in Honolulu during APEC events, with the Nissan Zero Emission team on hand throughout.